best way to train your dragon? Use anti-stress toys! Watch our new video to find out how to make a dragon paw massager, a grass pillow, a staff that makes dragons sleepy, and a whole lake in the mountains. Ben was just on a walk in the woods when he found something unusual. There's a big gold egg in this bird feeder. I doubt a pigeon laid this egg. This must be the precious egg of some unknown creature. Make an egg six inches tall out of foil. Roll out some polymer clay and wrap the egg in it. Make a cut all the way around. Bake it in an oven according to the clay instructions. Cut dragon scales out of some more clay following a template. Also, cut out a circle. Attach the circle onto the egg and stick on the scales. Use a modeling tool to make grooves. Run over them with a firm toothbrush. Bake it in an oven. Cover the unfinished egg with bronze acrylic paint diluted with water. Also, paint the inner sides. Use a sponge to add gold acrylic paint and white pearly paint. Ben decides to take the egg to a specialist in the field of magical creatures. He'll be able to figure out what this egg treasure's all about. The wise Viking Ragnar is open for business. To make himself look even more impressive, he dressed himself as a dragon trainer, and he's holding a special artifact to seal the deal, the paw of his beloved dragon. Crumple up some tin foil and form the long, spiky fingers of a dragon's paw. Glue the fingers to the inside of a long cardboard tube. Wrap that in foil, making a big 3D paw. Use hot glue to texture the dragon's skin. Form the webbing between the fingers. Prime the paw with a layer of green acrylic paint. When the paint dries, take a slightly wetted brush with gold acrylic paint and go over the surface. Color the claws with a thick layer of gold paint. Ben shows the Viking what he found. Ragnar extends his paw for the shaking. Ha! What's wrong with you? Ha! I tricked you, dummy! Don't be scared! This is just a paw massager. It's a great way to relieve stress. Ragnar the dragon expert starts examining the egg. Wow! What a rare find! This must be from some long-forgotten species. Let's use some dragon powder to try and revive it. Well, strange. It doesn't work. But a spell will definitely get the job done. And a dragon trainer's magic staff can help too. Trace the outlines of hooks on a sheet of styrofoam. Cut out two pieces. Smooth out the edges using a nail file. Follow the same steps to cut a straight stick out of the styrofoam. Glue the three pieces together. Cover the hooks with beige pearly acrylic paint. Paint the handle dark brown. Cut out and glue on nine 3D styrofoam teeth. Cut a turquoise ribbon into three even parts. Glue them onto the handle, leaving spaces between the ribbons. Wrap part of the second hook in red and orange ribbons. Secure them with hot glue. Wrap the empty spaces with twine. Pour teeny beads into four empty glitter containers. Color the sides with beige acrylic paint. And attach the containers onto the hooks. Three onto the hooks with spikes and one onto the second hook. This staff doubles as a rattle, and it's capable of putting more than just dragons to sleep. Ben's sleepy too. But now's not the time for a nap, my young friend. You're about to witness a miracle. Ragnar's magic staff bewitched the egg until it opened. It turns out that there's mysterious dragon liquid inside. Mix Elmer's glue with yellow acrylic paint and add gold glitter. Add some shaving foam and gel laundry detergent. The result is stretchy elastic slime. Put it into the egg and add in toy dragon figurines. 
Poor Ben. He's allergic to slime. He can't even watch as Ragnar plays with the yellow goo. Although, it seems like Ragnar's discovered something. It's Toothless, the legendary Night Fury, and his little friends. The yellow slime was just keeping them calm while they were in the egg. Time to feed the little dragons. Ben's trying to pick a good menu for them. Tangerines? Are you kidding me? Our dragons are predators and they eat fish. Trace a big fish template on a soft foam rubber sheet. Cut out two pieces. Hot glue them together. Stuff the fish with hollow fiber filling and glue it all the way shut. Cut the template into pieces. Use fabric with double-sided sequins to cut out the body of the fish. Hot glue the fabric onto the foam rubber sheet. Cut an eye out of a white and black foam rubber sheet and attach it onto the fish's head. Ragnar fishes this relaxing creature out of his net. It's so soft, Ben wants to taste it right away. That's not for you. This fish calms dragons down, even when they're really mean or angry. Let's see. The baby dragons feel great when they're with this fish. And the old wise viking can relax in the meantime. A nice nap after lunch can make you live longer. Ben plans on taking advantage of the viking's trance. He'll get his revenge for being treated so poorly. And he'll attack Ragnar with his sheep, just like he's playing darts. Remove the hook side from a bored piece of velcro. Glue a few strips like that onto a square of paper. Color the Velcro with acrylic paint. When the paint dries, use a permanent marker to draw a big round dartboard and write numbers. Cut out a target and attach a loop for hooking it up. Sew a felt circle around the edge and tighten the thread. Stuff it with hollow fiber filling. Seal the opening with hot glue. Make a sheep's head with ears out of black felt and glue it on. Glue on eyes made out of white felt. Draw pupils with a marker. Cut small circles out of the soft half of the velcro. And cover the sheep's body with them. Make a few soft sheep for playing soft darts. Ben takes aim at the sleeping viking. But Ragnar would be able to train a dragon with his eyes closed. So smacking away a couple of sheep is a piece of cake. You have no idea who you're dealing with, young dragon trainer wannabe. It'll take you years to get on Ragnar's level. It's raining outside, but it's still warm and cozy inside the dragon trainer's tent. The sound of thunder scares Ben. Relax, kiddo. This is just nature at work. For cases like this one, the Viking has a whole mountain lake full of everything calming. But there's no water in it. Looks like the lake dried up. How do you still not get it? Filling up the lake with heaven-sent water is so easy. Draw the outline of a mountain range on a sheet of cardboard. Cut it out and glue it to a frisbee. Use hot glue to add volume. Color the mountains with acrylic paint. Paint the edge of the frisbee. Mix water with Elmer's glue and blue coloring. Add some borax and mix blue slime. Put the slime into the frisbee and spread it out along the base, making it look like a lake. This portable lake is safe even for the tiniest dragons to swim in. It looks like Toothless is enjoying the water, but all of a sudden, the dragons go under a slime wave. Be careful! The dragons feel great swimming in this mountaintop lake. Nature's unbreakable rule. After the rain comes the sunshine. Now it's time for the dragons to warm up and nap in the sun. This grassy pillow will do the trick. Hot glue together a square out of two sheets of green felt. Connect two squares like that with hot glue. Stuff it with hollow fiber filling and glue the opening fully shut. The result is a soft pillow. Fold a strip of felt in half and cut some fringe. Cut it at an angle to make a shape like a blade of grass. Cut a strip of grass out of a lighter color of felt. Hot glue the lighter strip in the middle and put the grass layer together. 
Make a few pieces, just like that. Cover the whole pillow with grass. Foolish Ben is under the impression that the old Viking wants to make him comfortable. Sleeping on this grass pillow is so comfy. Silly boy, this pillow isn't for you, it's for the dragons. Ben lays out his scaly pets. What a caring dragon trainer. This soft grass is perfect for sleeping on and for playing on too. The pillow turned out so comfortable. Sunlight can be a source of positive energy for dragons and people. Ragnar finds an ancient mirror passed down to him from his great-grandmother. And he starts playing with the reflection of the light. Use a hot knife to cut any excess details from the frame of an old round mirror. Crumple up some foil and glue it around the mirror. Add volume with hot glue. Cover the back with a cardboard circle. Color it with turquoise acrylic paint. Draw a round design. Make it look like a cut of malachite. Paint the frame foil. And color the front of the frame with circles. Spread Elmer's glue on the edge. And sprinkle it with purple glitter. Dragons love chasing sunspots. This is the best way for a dragon to relax. Every serious dragon trainer should have a mirror like this one. So Ragnar is more than happy to give it to Ben so that he can continue studying dragonology. But he can do that next time. Now we'd all better go back to minding our own business. Did you like our ideas for how to train your dragon? Then let us know in the comments about what de-stressing toys you'll make for your dragon. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss any new dragon games on Troom Troom.